After watching this video, you'll be able to better understand the important difference between erosion and weathering. No longer will you drop easy points on your next exam. Erosion and weathering are related topics. However, they have key differences. Let's take a look at the definitions to better understand these differences. Weathering is the breakdown or alteration of rocks and minerals in place without any movement. Erosion is where rocks and soil are worn away and transported by natural forces such as wind or water. So both these processes break down rocks, but erosion involves movement and transportation of materials. Now we understand that weathering does not involve movement and erosion does, let's examine the different ways these two processes work. There are two main ways weathering works, physical weathering and chemical weathering. Physical weathering involves the breakdown of rocks into smaller pieces without changing their chemical composition. This can be done by freeze for thermal expansion or crystallization. There is also chemical weathering. This involves the changing of chemical composition of the rocks. This process can involve oxidation, hydrolysis or dissolution. Weathering results in the breaking up of rocks into smaller particles or changes their chemical form. But these changes typically happen in the same location and then remain there after the change has taken place. If you want to know more about these individual processes, check out my other detailed guide. I have a link in the description below. Now let's compare this to erosion. There's quite a few different ways erosion can take place because there are many ways rock particles can be moved. The most common way of erosion is water, wind and glaciers. Water erosion includes rivers, coastal waves, rainfall, these can all transport sediment, and whilst it's being transported, the particles can bump into other particles or rocks, which can cause them to break down in a process called abrasion. The wind can also act in a similar way to water, by picking up and carrying sand or soil. Whilst being carried, the small grains of sand can hit into rocks and erode them. And then last but not least, we have glaciers, which can pick up huge quantities of boulders and rocks and shape entire landscapes. So just to recap, erosion leads to the removal and deposition of materials in new locations. While sediment is being transported, it can be worn down. This is why the two processes are often confused because it, they both involve the wearing down of rocks. But remember, the key difference is the movement always takes place under erosion. And if there's no movement and the rock stays in place, then it is weathering. If you're still finding this a little bit hazy, then please check out my other videos on this topic. I have two great videos covering erosion and weathering in more detail, and after watching them, I'm sure you'll fully understand the topic and do well on all your future exams. Good luck.